All right, let's take a look at a priority flow control. So this flow control is commonly used in a steering circuit when we would have a pump, and maybe that pump is even dedicated to the steering. But what we want to do is make sure that the steering gets a consistent flow throughout the entire wear life or cycle of that piece of equipment. And so a way to do that is to have a pump that's slightly larger than we require and use a priority flow control like this to regulate the oil flow that goes to the steering. That way we'll even give room in that system for pump wear without seeing any change to the operator's control. So we can look at this priority flow control and we see that it has three ports, three main ports, this one, this one, and this one right here. This guy right here is actually our supply port. So our supply port comes in and a priority flow control looks a lot like a bypass flow control in that it has an excess port and a control port as the deliveries. The only big difference between the priority flow control and the bypass is that the bypass is adjustable and this is a fixed flow. So what we see right there is an orifice in the spool right there that the oil flow from the supply is going to come in go into this orifice come out of this hole and go to the controlled flow port right here so the load will build up the pressure as the load does the work the cylinder the motor whatever's happening it's doing the work resisting the flow pressure is going to build up it's going to come back into the spool and just like every compensated flow control we have to have the load oil from the control port in combination with the compensator spring right here and the way we do that is there's a hole in the end of the spool and a little disc so there's a disc with a hole in it the hole allows the pressurized oil to get into this cavity and then act on the disc to create a force against the spool so this spool is pushing over now it's trying to hold this closed over here is my excess flow port or ef port excess flow now when the pressure builds up in the system so from my load comes back through the constant flow port comes back over to the inlet port here pressure is going to continue to build up now if we have options we could allow the relief valve to open that wouldn't be very efficient that would be dumping a lot of oil back to tank at relief pressure creating heat and if we were going to use a pressure compensated pump, we would have used a different style flow control here. Probably would have used a restrictor style. So this is typically going to be in a fixed displacement open center system. And so what we need to do without sending the oil over relief is we need to send it somewhere else. So we're going to use the bypass flow port or the excess flow port to do that. Now, when the pressure is built up all back to here, it's also coming down into this passageway right here, and there's a small hole right in this housing. That small hole in the housing sends the oil flow down into this end of the spool. When the pressure builds up, the pressure acts on this surface area right here to push this spool over. When the spool moves over, whatever excess flow has been building up in pressure will then be allowed to go past this chamfered land right here and go out the excess flow port. So this is a priority flow control that has the flow coming in. Priority flow goes to the control port. As the pressure builds up, it opens up, moves the spool over and opens up and sends the oil to the excess flow port. If you're wondering what this ball right here is, this little check ball, this guy is actually made so that you could have a, it is actually a small relief valve in here that's only sensitive to the control port. So what that means is as the control circuit builds up in pressure, if that pressure continued to build up excessively, it would then open up the main system relief valve and that would then remove any use of this excess flow. Now, we don't use this excess flow that often, but one of the places you'll see it possibly in a, in a truck environment would be this excess flow coming off the steering pump ends up running the sand sprayer in the back of the truck. 
And so if you allow the pump relief valve to open when the steering circuit, let's say the driver is in a cul-de-sac making a corner, puts the steering stops to the end and maxes out the steering pressure, when that pressure maxes out, comes back, opens up the pump relief valve, my sand spreader here stops rotating. So instead of letting that happen, we can have a relief valve that's dedicated here that when the pressure builds up and gets too high, it'll come down, be sensitive to the check ball here, work against this direct acting spring, open up, and this guy goes to tank. So it's a little circuit relief, if you will, for the controlled steering circuit to go back to tank. This guy in itself is completely an accessory. Okay, it's an extra feature. The priority flow control really is the inlet port, the fixed orifice going to the control port, the control port being added to the compensator spring, forcing this valve closed, making sure the first oil goes to the control port. The excess flow only opens up when the pressure is built up enough to move the compensator spool against load plus spring to send the oil out to the excess flow. You could completely just send this ex excess flow back to tank and do nothing with it, and this valve would still do its job because its job is to send priority flow to the control port.